Hello there everyone and welcome to the season four premiere! Yes! We did it everyone, we did it! I cannot thank you all without your support. This never would have been possible. And as I noticed, my files are not on because I had to do that in order to get all the confetti out. Seriously, thank you all so much. I This never would have been possible. I, <laughs> seriously, thank you all so much. We did it, we made it, and we were in season four. Yes! Boom, boy! I also want to thank everyone who has been patient with me. I know it's been about a month. I don't think we need this anymore. <laughs> I know it's been about a month since um, All About First Suitor has come. So I want to thank everyone so much for being patient and waiting for the next series. I have been spending the last month and a half getting everything set up for the new season. As you know, the background's different, so you're probably noticing a few changes to the series already, as you're noticing the multiple camera angle thingies. <laughs> uh, yeah, I decided to do that because I wanted to try something new. As you always know, in each video, I ask the first room. Yeah. So as <laughs> God. So as you always know, in each video, I ask each first room five questions, and that is still going to be the thing. However. However, boy, there is going to be a little twist to this season and beyond. Each first suitor I interview is going to get to ask me, yes, you heard me right, is going to get to ask me a question, and I'll answer it in the best way possible. I'll do my best. <laughs> As you probably read for the title of the Goofy and Goober and Silly and Stuff, boy, we are interviewing Shintani Cheetah. Yeah, without further ado, as always, I'll ask her five questions, and she'll get to ask me a question. So, Shintani, give us a little introduction about yourself, please. Y'all. Yes. Hello, Benji and viewers. Thank you so much for having me on the show. My name is Shintani. My pronouns are she, her. My persona is a king cheetah. Though I was interested in furry from a very young age, I became an active part of the furry scene in 2012 and started fursuiting two years after that. Thank you so much for coming on, Shatani. No, really, it means a lot. I had, I think it's really cool that you're a King Cheetah. That is so amazing. I'm just a silly old beagle. <laughs> and that is really cool that you came in at, tw that you, at a really young age. That is awesome. I didn't even find the fan until 2017. I had no idea what it was. 2012, though. Nice, that is so darn cool. Anyway, uh, that is just, it's really awesome. But yeah, here is your first question. Who made your fursuit, boy? My fursuit was made by the lovely Magpie Bones, who has been making fursuits and costumes since 2009. By now, you've probably noticed that my fursuit looks a little bit different than those you might be used to seeing. I have what's known as a use your own eyes fursuit, which, as the name suggests, utilizes the wearer's actual eyes as part of the costume instead of using fake plastic eyes or mesh vision ports. My suit is a little bit special in that it also uses my own hair by request. I'm just gonna say this right now. That, that is probably one of the most stunning fursuits I ever seen. Magpie Bones did an amazing job, Shintani. Wow. I absolutely love how the eyes just match yours and how you did it with your own hair. That is just, wow. That I, I love how you're able to just make your own design, make, make, just make it your own. That's just so cool. I, I love that. I absolutely just love everything about that. On to the second question, my dudes, and that is, what was the inspiration behind your series on YouTube, Cheetah Chat with Shintani? Boy. My main inspiration for my Cheetah Chat web series was actually to connect more with the furry community at large. Around that time, I had just gone through a significant life change that meant I wouldn't be able to attend conventions for a while. Cons were my main method of networking with other furries in the community at that point. The furry scene comprises an array of different folks from all walks of life, each with their own talents and interests. I thought about what I was good at 
and how I could combine that with the activities I enjoyed as well as what I physically had the resources to pull off. I personally think that is so, so, so cool, Shintani, that you made a YouTube channel, you want to go out to the community, that is so dang cool. I, I really think that is awesome. And I really think that it's cool that you do that during a life change. I just, that is awesome. That is really cool. Uh, links to her YouTube channel will be in the description down below if you want to check out Shintani's channel. Definitely check it out. She does amazing um, content, like really awesome content. She also gives to charity. So yeah, amazing, amazing content, amazing work. An amazing cause. So definitely check out Shinchani and check out her content. Yas, in the description down below. <laughs> now, on to the third question, and that question is, boy, to those who are going to their first furry convention, what are some tips you could give them? Yes. Boy. Funny you should mention this. I did an episode of Cheetah Chat a little while back on this very topic. Going to fan conventions is a very fun activity for me. I've been attending all kinds of conferences and expos ever since I was a young and but it can be a very daunting prospect for people who may not have ever been to an event like this. Unsure of what really goes on there, what to expect, what they'll need in order to go, or even if they would like it at all. That's Cheetah Chat number 13, what to expect at a furry con. If you and the viewers at home would like to look it up on my channel, youtube.com slash shetani. I'm sure you're a busy doggo and I'm not gonna take up too much of your time here today. Some of the most common questions I get asked are, do I need a fursuit or costume to attend a furry convention? Absolutely not. Think about it like this. If you wanted to go to a comic con, do you have to dress up like a superhero? I don't think so. Fursuits are overrepresented in our community by the media because they're very eye-catching for news pieces. Only about 20% of furries actually own a fursuit. Most of the people you see walking around at a furry con are normally dressed, not wearing any kind of fursuit or costume. You will not stick out not having one, you'll fit right in, and yes, you will absolutely have a fun time. That is so cool, Shatani. I will definitely leave a link to that video that she was mentioning in, again, in the description down below. Right on to the fourth question now, and that question is for you, Shintani. And that is, what is your favorite video game? Pew pew, boy. Oh wow, that's a really tough question. Gaming is a pretty big pastime for me, whether I'm playing by myself or streaming for friends and viewers as part of my Shatani Plays series here on YouTube. There are so many memorable games that stuck with me over the years. I love to pay homage to my favorite series and narratives by dressing up as characters that I resonate with. You may not know this, but I actually got my start as a cosplayer years ago before I became interested in fursuiting. I love to cosplay in my fursuit any chance I get. It combines a bunch of my favorite hobbies into one. The Assassin's Creed series, specifically the earlier entries up to Assassin's Creed 3, will always hold a special place in my heart. I found myself totally captivated by the modern Assassin storyline, particularly the character interactions between Desmond, Sean, Rebecca, and even Lucy. Though I can't say I enjoy what the series has turned into, the classic Assassin's Creed games taught me that video games could be more than just a way to kill time but a teaching medium as well, and carry engaging storytelling and well-written characters that you really grow to love and care about. Oh, yes, 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 definitely. Um, I absolutely love Assassin's Creed. That is honestly, like you said, that is one of my favorite series of all time, if not actually my favorite video game series. And as you said, yes, the Desmond parts, like Revelations, Brotherhood, to the, the original was okay. Uh, in three, like you said, those are like my favorites of all time. The newer ones, eh, <laughs> yeah, they're eh, they're okay. But yeah, absolutely agree with you there. Assassin's Creed, yes. And now the fifth and final question, boy, boy, damn, damn, boy, boy, yeah. Now the fifth question is to those who are new to the furry fandom, what are some tips that you, Shintani, could give them? Yeah. Biggest piece of advice I have for those new to the furry scene is that furry is what you make of it. 
At its core, being a furry is a hobby like any other. Each one of us who takes part in the community does so for their own reasons and has their own idea of what they want to get out of the experience. Just like casual sports fans versus the lifestylers who are totally obsessed and make it their entire identity, you can get super hardcore into furry stuff or just dabble in it here and there. And the ways in which you choose to participate in furry and express yourself are as varied as the individuals who make up furry itself. I have to absolutely agree with Shantani here. Furry, the furry fandom is definitely a hobby. It's something that I, we all like to enjoy, we all enjoy doing. It's just anything like anything else. Like she said, it's like a football game, a soccer game, like anything like a sports or like a video gaming. Like there's a whole gaming fandom and a whole sports fandom out there. Well, I could talk about this for hours and hours, but I think it's about time we heard from you, Benji. And if I'm not mistaken, I get to ask you a question this time around. So. Every year, I do a charity event to raise donations and awareness for the Cheetah Conservation Fund, an organization that is very near and dear to my heart. What charities are important to you, and how do you advocate for them, or plan to do so in the future? Gee, this is like a really tough question. Um, thank you, Shatani. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, there are two um, charities that I really support, and they really mean a lot because they really fit my family, and they, and they actually really affect me. Uh, the first one would have to be the American Heart Association, just because me, my family, everyone do have heart problems. Uh, my grandfather did, and on, and on, on both his sides, my um, grandmother does, and my, on my mom and dad's side. So heart problems really do affect um, in my family. Uh, the second one would have to be Autism Speaks, just because I'm autistic, my dad's autistic, and most of my family is autistic. Um, I do have, I have autism runs in most of my um, blood, so and I'll, for a long time I was really like, oh, I don't like having autism, I can't stand this, but anymore I'm really proud to be autistic, I'm proud to have that kind of uh, advantage to have, be more creative, to have more of a stand in life, and anymore I just want to help others who are autistic and who need a... Uh, we need support in the spectrum, and I just wanted to do that, you know. And that's those are probably the two charities I would support: uh, the American Heart Association and Autism Speaks, because like we need more support, we need more love, we need more positivity. We need that, you know. We, all of us do. Yes, I just I feel like that. Those are probably the two charities. Thank you for that question, Tani. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. I had a great time. If people would like to follow me online, my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash shetani. That's S-H-E-T-A-N-I. That's where you can find the episodes of my Cheetah Chat series, as well as my Shetani Plays live streams, my convention panels, interviews, and all that good stuff. I am also on Twitter at at Shetani Cheetah. I'm under Instagram under the same name, and I have a website at shatani.card.co if you would like to learn more about me, my character, what I do, and all of that fun stuff. Thank you again so much, Benji. Take care and have a great rest of your day. Bye bye. Of course, Shatani, I had a great time too. It was a great time interviewing you, an amazing time. Again, as she said, all of the links uh, to her social media will be in the description down below, her Twitter, her YouTube, everything you can name, it will be in the description down below. Um, she makes amazing content, she does a lot of charity work, she's an amazing creator and just an amazing person, so be sure to check her out. Again, thank y'all so, so, so much. This room is now completely messed up because of all the shenanigans I did here today. I have a lot of cleaning to do. <laughs> No, but it was fun. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, if you enjoyed this, be sure to give this a like, subscribe, but it's for always, and as always, I'm Pinja, a good farewell.